got off to a sad start this year. The loss of Neil Bonnet in a practice accident here on Friday afternoon. Neil was looking forward to a six-race schedule this year. He was one of the most popular drivers in NASCAR Winston Cup racing and had become a very popular broadcaster as well. And certainly he will be missed in the sport. Lots going on here at Daytona for the next 10 days. For more on our tribute to Neil Bonnet, let's join Bill Weber in our studios in Charlotte, North Carolina. Thank you, Ned, and good morning, everyone. It has been a difficult couple of days. We've lost a friend and a colleague. And in a moment, we'll glance into the past to recapture some of the many happy memories Neil Bonnet shared with all of us. Inside Winston Cup Racing is brought to you by Cold Filtered Miller Genuine Draft and Miller Genuine Draft Light, taking the country by storm. Goodyear, number one in tires. And by Haviland Formula 3 Motor Oil. Add more life to your car. Neil Bonnet brought enthusiasm and energy to the racetrack. He said his desire to get to the front and stay there probably cost him more times than he'd like to admit. But he enjoyed it all. Neil's no longer with us, but we will always have fond memories of his smile and his style. Neil Bonnet's cheerful smile and pleasant personality were homespun trademarks of this high-riding member of the Alabama gang. For 20 years, he was a part of the Winston Cup racing community, first as a driver, then a broadcaster, and last year returning to the track in Talladega, the site of his first Winston Cup race. Bonnet celebrated 18 Winston Cup wins beginning in Richmond in 1977. His long relationship with the Wood Brothers took Neil to Victory Lane nine times, including the World 600 at Charlotte in 1982. The following year, in a Raymock Chevy, he flashed across the finish line eight-tenths of a second ahead of Richard Petty for back-to-back -back wins in the 600. He won twice in 83 and 85, and at Rockingham in 86. 1987 was interrupted by a shattered leg suffered in this crash at Charlotte. But in 1988, Neil was comeback driver of the year. He took Hoosier tires to victory lane for the first time with a win at Richmond. His last victory came two weeks later at the North Carolina Motor Speedway in Rockingham. Well, it's almost too much to think about. I, you know, I've always liked to take things a week at a time, one race at a time. But my goodness, our bunch is stout right now. Our team's running. We're up there in the points thing. Uh, the, we're going to, if we can maintain this consistency, we'll be a factor all year, I believe. In 1990, Bonnet sustained severe head injuries in this crash at Darlington. Neil suffered memory loss and underwent long-term physical therapy. When he had this conversation with Randy Pemberton in July of 1990, it appeared his racing career had ended. I should have had a lot more wins. I probably should have won twice as many races as I won, but I'll be the first one to tell you, if they let me regroup and go back through there again, I'd do it the same way. I, I had fun doing it. Uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, I, my numbers aren't all that great, but I tell you what, nobody had any more fun than I had doing it. Neil really never left the sport. He moved into broadcasting, winning new fans as a race analyst. And he worked with his 29-year-old son, David, as he attempted to join the Bush Series. Neil patiently massaged his desire to return to racing. Then last year, with doctor approval, he returned to the track after a three-year absence, qualifying for the Die Hard 500 at Talladega. This year, Neil planned to run a limited schedule. He was excited about the opportunity to climb back behind the wheel and compete again in the sport he loved so much. Neil Bonner collected 18 Winston Cup wins, 20 poles, and nearly $4 million in career earnings. He leaves behind his wife Susan, his son David, his daughter Kristen, and millions of racing fans and friends who will long remember his soothing smile and southern charm. I, I can't tell the people, not the fans out there, that cards and the letters. I'm not talking about the Neil Bonnet fans. I might put them in one sack. But I'm talking about the Darrell Walter, the Dale Yarbers, the, the Petties, the Allisons that sent letters. So we're, we're a Walter fan, but we sure appreciate the effort you made in racing. And I'd like to take the opportunity to thank the fans. Uh, you never can pay the fans back on that. They stand on the other side of that fence, hanging on, pulling for you. And uh, when you're down, they pull even harder, and I appreciate that.